it is your girl Simone here. Today in this video, we're doing things, uh, no. Beep. Hey guys, what is up? It is your girl Simone here. Today we're gonna be working with Hair VV wigs. I love their wigs, always have worked with them. Honestly, I would love to be a fly on the wall when they're actually preparing their wigs because how it arrives so perfect is just beyond me. Like, it is way too perfect and it looks amazing. So we've basically been hearing about the fake scalp method for quite a while. And to be honest, it has changed lives. It has made wearing a wig so much easier. It has made things look so much more natural. And just honestly, life is easier with the fake scalp method. But there's there's always been this one little flaw with it if you've ever looked up close on certain fake scalp methods some companies just cannot get the line of demarcation right if you look at these wigs up close you can actually kind of see the wig cap that they stitched to the inside of the wig cap and it's just been one thing that has been so annoying for me only some companies I felt like were really able to like get around the whole line of demarcation where it wasn't such a bad difference like okay stocking cap and then skin and so with that they have pretty much much introduced a new way of doing a fake scalp method where it's less obvious to see that line of demarcation so I have some samples here to kind of explain to you guys they did provide me with two different colors the mocha and the cappuccino I would be a, a cappuccino color uh, another issue with the fake scalp method is sometimes companies did put like a little mesh over the stocking cap that was sewn to the wig cap and a lot of the times they didn't put that like mesh part over it was really thin and just a regular stocking cap and then it would rip and kind Kind of like share and you know not last long especially after you wash it they kind of change their technology a little bit where they put a stronger fabric underneath the inside of the wig to make it last a little longer make it more durable and make it just feel a little more like it's not gonna just rip on you Personal, but I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up. Stay so I'm gonna go ahead and put this wig on my head now. Meditating and taking time. All right, so I, I'm gonna have to hot comb the top part down. I am living for this color though. So let's just all take a minute to just admire how great this looks. I know I mentioned that this wig is pretty much all done for me, but I have to add my own personal touches to it, like hot combing it for a very sleek and flattened finish. You guys always know that. And I have to also flat iron it, which I'll do later on. So at this point, I am cutting the lace off. Um, for this wig, I'm gonna cut the lace really close to the hairline. Like, I mean, super, super close only because it matches so well and since the work is already done for me um it won't look really like fake ish like you know instead of having a straight line going straight across from ear to ear so that's why i did cut close i did use my tresemme hairspray which you guys know i have been in super 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 love with <laughs> that is even those words don't even go together but i've been in love with this hairspray um it's not as harsh as gotta be glue it's not as stiff as gotta be glue holding spray um it's very lightweight it smells amazing and it can also be used in your hair to hold obviously your curls and any styles that you want to last long term so it has a lot of uses even though i kind of do use gotta be glue to hold my curls sometimes it does leave white residue if you put too much so this right here has been my new best friend for my last couple of videos and notice i put it over the lace and not under only because it was just it was just easier for me Now I'm just going to go ahead and flat iron the hair. Really, honestly, there's little to nothing that you have to do to this wig. Um, just a few touch-ups here and there, like flat ironing and hot combing. But other than that, everything is done for you. From the color down to the plucking, down to the basically the styling <laughs> um, if I didn't have to do touch up so everything is practically done for you so very easy wig if you are a beginner and you just know nothing about wigs very 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 easy for you to just put on and do little minor touch ups 